And this is a comparison um, of an investment in the S&P 500 over approximately the last uh, 20 years, $10,000 investment. So someone who invested in the S&P 500 starting in January 1, 2002, remember we had a we had 2008 during this time period, um, right? That's a, that's a time period that people, a lot of people probably wish that they weren't in the market. But this person invested 2002, kept their investment the entire time. Um, and this is talking about them investing in the S&P 500 um, in this example. They would have gotten 9.52% average annual return on their money each year, okay? Their, their 10,000 would have gone up six times to over $61,000 in that 20 year period. Even with 2008, right. okay? Now, another person who missed out on only the best 10 days of the market over that approximate 20 year period would have only got half the return that this person who stayed in the entire time got. Um, and it gets worse the more days that people were out of the market. What's important to note about this is that the, the very best days of the market usually occur in a bear market or in the middle of a downturn. And a lot of times they occur right next door um, to the very worst days of the market, the days when people would think that they should get out of the market. Um, and so this is just another study that proves and shows that stay, time in the market is better than trying to time the market. That's a good, that's good information, Jess. 